welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki and I go under the name Fopaholic for um, work, if you like. Um, so Fopaholic is a cross between somebody that loves food and a shopaholic. Me! <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of fopaholics out there. So um, today's video was the questions and answers surrounding a Slim and Well video. So I put on my social media, my Instagram, and my Facebook and my YouTube channel if anybody wanted to ask me any questions and then because there were so many I grouped them so I've already done the kind of like general life one and like getting to know me type one um, so that one's already gone on I'll link that one below this one is going to be the Slim and Well one and then the one following on from that will be the IVF slash baby one so let's just get straight into it so actually, no, <laughs> I'll quickly just tell you a bit about my history before I start answering questions on Slim and World. I've lost three stone in three months with Slim and World and I kept it off for 16 years before getting pregnant with twin boys. I have been a consultant and a manager for Slim and World for um, over 11 years, nearly 12 years. Um, I'm a senior gold consultant, so I've achieved gold four times in my group. Um, and I'm also a manager, so my, manage my team that I manage were uh, in the top five team of the year. Um, so yeah, so I do I do know what I'm talking about, so hopefully I'll be able to answer all your questions. Um, but I'm always learning, you know, I'm not perfect. So Slim and Well then, how easily did Chris adapt to Slim and World? And that was from Tara. So Chris is my husband, and the thing is, Every single guy I have been with um, since doing Slim and World have done Slim and World. <laughs> so um, I haven't had loads of relationships. You can um, go and watch my relationship story video. But the guy that I was with before I joined Slim and World um, wasn't healthy. Um, in fact, it's probably one of the reasons I put on so much weight. But after we split up and I got with my next boyfriend, um, I taught him how to cook the Slim and Well way. Um, he was really into fitness and stuff anyway, so he didn't mind and he got really good at making the food that I enjoy. And then um, somebody that I was with after that, I got him trained on Slim and World. Um, so, because actually it's just normal food, so it isn't even difficult. If they think they've got a diet, they might be like, oh, I'm not eating that. But if you show them how amazing the food is, and actually it's just using fry light instead of oil, it's dead easy. And then when I met Chris um, for our second date, he, well, second date or third date, I think it's third date, he cooked for me, and um, he did it all slim and well friendly, and he'd gone online, and he'd uh, looked at recipes and things, and he'd gone and got fry light, and he made such an effort. So yeah, I think if they love you, and they wanna support you, then hopefully they'll eat the same sort of food as you. So, um, cheat days. Do I do it and do I recommend it? No. <laughs> no and no. So I, yeah, there's different types of slimmers. I'm not the sort of slimmer that will go off and eat 10 million sins in a day. Never have been, don't want to be. Um, I know it's kind of like trendy to do that at the moment. I know a lot of people love following people that do have major treat days but it's not something i do and i'll tell you why um i've been doing this a long time and i know myself everybody's different some people could have a massive massive blowout and still lose weight um and be able to just draw a line and get straight back on track i can't i, I won't so that gain might take me a while then to get off um and just what it does to my mind and what it does to my body I am really interested in nutrition and fitness, so I really don't want to be putting like all that sugar, all that fat, all those you know sins into my body. Because actually, when I do, I feel rubbish. It doesn't make me feel good. Eating healthy makes me feel good. And the thing is, even just the word cheat, I don't like it. I don't like the um, the phrase cheat because for me, it implies that you're doing something strict and therefore you have to cheat and you're confined. But Slimming World, you can eat loads, I eat loads. So I don't feel the need to cheat. And a lot of food that I enjoy, you can make it really low sin or free anyway. Um, I have had like flexible days, God, I'm human. So I've been to like weddings and ended up having more sins than, you know, that we uh, are allocated. Um, Years and years and years ago, when I used to drink more, I would have a hangover, and then I would end up eating, you know, more hyacinth food the next day, um, but I, I didn't turn it into like a cheat day, and I certainly wouldn't build it into my weekly routine, because the second you step off the scales, your week has started, so, but you've got to do what's right for you. If you can do it, and you have a blowout, and it makes you feel better, and it keeps you on track, and you still lose weight, then fair play, do it. <laughs> but for me personally, no, they're not my thing. 
So, um, I get confused watching too many videos. Are Muller Lights and Rolo yogurts okay? With watching too many videos and following too many people that perhaps aren't actually trained in Slim World, it's very easy to get confused. I see so much incorrect information shared normally on Facebook groups. So the best thing you can do is always just do what it says in the book. If you do what it says in the book or on the website or on the app, you won't go wrong. It clearly states Muller Lights are free. Eat them, eat them, <laughs> they're free. But it also states eat until you're full. Um, and you don't want to be eating for the sake of it. So don't go and eat 10 Muller Lights just because they're free, because obviously they've still got calories in. But don't worry about eating them if you want them, because they are free. And you've also got your consultant and your fellow members. So if you're not sure about anything, speak to them. Don't go with what's on social media. Barcode scanner. Um, are we going to get a barcode scanner? It's not my department, haven't got a clue. Um, the thing is with Slimming World, we very much focus on free food and speed food and you don't need a barcode scanner for that. So if you get too fixated on sins, you're doing the one, two, three a bit wrong. So one, two, three, number one's the biggest step, most important step. Number two is your healthy extras. The final one should only be a small part of the plan and that's your sins. Most plans, most sins that you enjoy, you're not off the top of your head anyway. Um, so we're not, I don't know, I don't know if they'll do a barcode scanner, but head office, that's their department. Um, lunches at work, I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So lunch ideas, otherwise this video will be the longest video ever. Um, store cupboard essentials, I've already done a video on that. So you can go and check that out. How do I food optimise when I'm on holiday by Danielle Violet. So when I'm on holiday, obviously you don't know how things are cooked and very often you will need to be a bit more flexible than normal and that's fine, don't stress about it. Um, I've had some big weight gains after holidays and to be honest, I don't eat bad when I'm on holiday. So I don't go and eat chips and, you know, not that chips are bad, but I don't go mental and go and eat loads of stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. Again, I'm just not like that because I've done this plan for over 16 years. This is how I eat, this is my lifestyle. So I choose not to eat like that, but obviously I've had cocktails and obviously, you know, I've had some more flexible meals and I eat a lot. When it's um, all inclusive, oh God, I'm like Nikki two plates. I'm like, I can't just have one plate, I have to go back and have another plate. And my mum's the same, so that's where I get it from. So I do find it challenging in all, in all you can eat situations. <laughs> it's like I've got to break the record, see how much I can get down me, um, because I just love food. So yeah, I do find it tricky, but, I always try and make good choices with what I'm faced with. And if I go south catering, I'll go to a local supermarket and I'll buy eggs and I'll buy meat and I'll buy fruit or cereal. So really, holidays you can just see like the same as being at home. But also don't feel guilty if you do go over. So just get straight back on track when you get back. Um, what's that, age? Does age affect weight loss? Sorry, I thought I was somebody asking me my age there, and I've already talked about that. So does age affect weight loss? No, no, not really. Um, so everybody's insides are the same. We might look different on the outside, but inside we are all the same. Our organs are the same. Um, you might find that your metabolism slows down a little bit as you get older, but I've got some people in my group that are 60, 70, 80, and they're all at target. So don't let that get in your head. If you think it's gonna be a stopper, then it probably will be. If you don't let it be, then it won't be. Extra B choice, um, so somebody's pregnant, so Gemma, and she says, do you have your extra B choice, and uh, is it best if I do? Healthy extras are not about weight loss, they're about health. So if you choose not to have them, they won't affect your weight loss, but the fiber and the calcium is important for your health. Now, when you're pregnant, you do need extra nutrients, so sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm finding now, now I'm more heavily pregnant, that I am having it, so it's up to you. It is a recommendation. Um... So, the gym and Slim and World. I've already done a video on that as well, Holly, so you can watch my Body Magic Gym video. Uh, when did your brain catch up from Gem Piccadilly? So, when you look in the mirror, you might still see the old you. Um, I guess I do a little bit sometimes. So, I, I don't know, because it was a long time ago now that I lost my weight, and I lost it really quickly. So, for me, it probably took a little while for my brain to catch up. I think I still saw the unhappy, you know, the overweight girl um, for a little while. But really, that's going to be different for everybody. And I think the best way to get your brain to catch up is to take photos of yourself. Because, for me, what I saw in the mirror wasn't real, sometimes. So, and then I'd see photos of myself when I was at Target and I was at my slimmest. And I'd be like, is that me? Is, is that what I actually look like? Oh my God, I actually look all right. So yeah, I think if you take photos, then you, you can, 
I don't know, it busts those misconceptions that you might have in your head. Um, also, what you know, measurements is quite a good one because if you lose an in inches, then you must be smaller. But for everybody, it's going to be different. So, yeah. Uh, do I stick to it for a full week? Yes. I always did so when I was um, losing my three stone in three months I followed it seven days a week and I did it 100% I was on it hence why I lost three stone in three months um, if you're not then you won't <laughs> so I always say if you kind of do it it kind of works if you really do it it'll really work so uh, back <laughs> Rihanna's asked me about back fat and um, to be honest fat is stubborn and especially female fat um, I hate I absolutely hate the word fat but that's what it is so uh, around your inner thigh around your tummy area around your back they can be the most challenging places to lose fat from a lot of that will come from your diet it will it will come from what you eat and making sure that you eat the right food but also lifting weights and doing things like HIIT will really, really help. There's absolutely no point going and doing a thousand sit-ups and trying to tone up your tummy if you're not eating right. It's not gonna work. You need to strip that fat off by eating well and by exercising, and then you'll start to see the inches come off. So, uh, what made me walk through the doors? Um, I was so unhappy. Um, I was in a relationship that I didn't really wanna be in. Um, I had no confidence, so I used to get called names. Um, and my weight was holding me back and food was controlling me. I wasn't controlling food. So I was at university and I always felt like the fat friend and I just thought I've got to do something about this. I need to change otherwise my life won't change. And I I, I remember going to the Millennium, the part of a Millennium party and I was trying on clothes and I tried on this size 16 pair of trousers and the most horrendous thing happened to me. Like. I was, I really needed a wee um, and I couldn't get the trousers off and I was panicking and they were stuck and I thought, oh, shit, so sorry to swear but I actually thought, shit, I'm going to have to wear these trousers home, I've got to go, I need a wee, <laughs> I've got to get out, I've got to get out. So I um, I called the shop assistant in and just said, look, I can't, I've got to pay for these trousers um, and I'm wearing them home. They were black, glittery, sparkly trousers and I was going to walk home in them in the day and I just look such an idiot so that I just thought nah <laughs> I ain't having that this is not happening and every time I saw a photo I wanted to cry and you know when people used to take pictures of you and I'll just be like oh please don't put them anywhere so yeah I, I just that was my defining moment really and that's what made me walk through the door and I've never looked back. So how do I keep myself on track uh, as a Slimming World consultant? So when you become a consultant, you can very much focus on your members rather than yourself. And it does really bother me and it does actually really offend and upset me when people are mean about their consultants because their consultant might not be at target. But what you've got to remember is Slimming World is a non-judgmental organisation. We're not into humiliation. We dream of judging consultants for putting weight on it's really 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 hard because all of a sudden you've got all these people and you, you're focusing on them so some people really struggle and you need to have empathy and you need to understand that they're human too just because we work for Slim and World doesn't mean we've got a magic wand and we're all going to be at target and you don't know what might be going on in their life and the battles that they're dealing with um for me Yes, I've stayed on track, even though I'm a consultant, but that's because I changed my lifestyle and I'm a really, really, really strong person. So when I do something, I do it. Um, but God, I've had my struggles. A couple of years ago, I was like really, really struggling. I got into some really bad habits and I couldn't get out of it. But to be honest, it was more about how I was feeling at the time than the food. So it tends to be an emotional thing. Um, so as long as I'm happy, which I've been you know, really happy obviously for a while now, um, I'm normally all right with my food. So I don't find it difficult. I'm a little bit selfish in a way, I suppose. I still prioritize myself. There's nothing wrong with that. I still make sure I can eat properly, um, even on the days where I do my groups and I'm out for hours and hours. Food will always be one of my priorities. So I do put my food and my health and my fitness first a lot of the time. Um, other people might not do that. They might put themselves at the bottom of the list. So yeah, that's just how I keep myself on track. So let's see what else we've been asked. We don't want this video to be half an hour to an hour long, do we? Um, breakfast ideas that don't use healthy extra B choices. So fruit and fat free yogurt is one. Um, banana pancakes, so you can sin them. So you can use bash, bash, mash, not bash, don't bash it. <laughs> 
mash it uh, with some eggs and make banana pancakes. Um, you can do little mini ham quiches. You could do a sausage um, quiche with like bacon and stuff in. You could do, not stuff in, as in what you have for chicken, stuff in. Um, without bee choices. So yeah, quiches and stuff are brilliant. Omelettes, I eat loads and loads of omelettes, so they're all really fab. Um, and it's just getting a bit more creative, really. And then you could use your sins if you wanted to save your bee choice. It's entirely up to you. But if you go on the Slimmer World website, there's loads of different breakfast ideas, so you can check that out. Um, you could just eat simply like a grill up as well. So you could have like bacon, um, sausages, tin tomatoes, mushrooms, all of that sort of thing. And you could eat that every day and actually still save you healthy extra. So how do you go about being a Slow and Well Consultant from Nick? Um, you just go along to your local opportunity event. There'll be one every single month. Find out from your consultant or email or call head office. And then you listen to the presentation. And at the end, if you decide it's what you want to do, then you notify uh, on a feedback form and then you'll get a follow-up call. Do it. If you're thinking about it, do it. What's my favourite Slim and World fake away from Sarah Smith underscore Slim and World? I eat a lot of curry. I absolutely love curry. So I make loads and loads of fake away curries. Um, I also like the fake away Donna Kebab using JD Seasonings. Uh, I have a JD Seasonings discount code. It's HEALTHY20 in capital letters. I'll, I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, they're my favourite fake aways and some free chips. Chips and Chinese. So I've eaten chips and Chinese. I wanted an off-plan treat, but now I feel guilty and I can't get back on plan from Tracy. Now, I've done loads of videos on ditching the guilt and making sure that you do just get straight back on track. The problem is, if you beat yourself up, that's when you're going to blow it. So if you've eaten chips and you've eaten Chinese and that was your adult choice at the time, move on deal with it <laughs> just think yeah okay cool chose to eat that it's done so what nothing i can do about it now i'm an adult i made the decision and just move on don't beat yourself up you wouldn't do it to a mate you wouldn't sit there going to a mate oh you're disgusted or oh you really shouldn't have eaten that or god you're stupid you wouldn't dream of saying that to your friend don't say it to yourself just think okay i've done it what can i do about it now nothing i'll just learn from it and i'll move on that's how you get back on track. How many sins a day do I average from M3110? Um, it massively varies. So some days I can have like none. And I think, oh my God, I've not used any sins. But I'm not going to ram them down me for the sake of it. If I'm full, I'm full. Um, I very often will have like five or six. I tend to use them on like chock shot and stuff like that. Now I'm pregnant, I'm not drinking. So that saves loads of sins. Um, the other day I did have 15. And I've had 15 a few days recently because I've got a bit more of a sweet tooth at the moment because I'm pregnant. So I'm eating like a, a little bit more chocolate and stuff. Um, occasionally a packet, packet of crisps but it doesn't really matter, sit between 5 and 15 wherever you want, if you don't want them, you don't have to have them. Um, how do I keep my members motivated from Julie Paul? I keep my members motivated um, mainly via image therapy. So if you don't stay to group and you pay away and walk out the door, then your consultant isn't going to be able to keep you motivated. So if you go and take a seat and you join into image therapy, that's how I keep my members motivated. I'm very passionate about everyone being like one big family. I'm very passionate about empowering people to think for themselves. I don't give them all the answers. Um, they need to obviously decide for themselves what they want to do different and what their goals and dreams are. I just inspire them and make sure that they believe in themselves that they can achieve it. Uh, we do lots of food learning we support each other I do do group support so I do contact people in the week quite a bit I've got a secret group on Facebook that's only for my members um, I try to lead by example so I share all my meals and stuff like that to keep them inspired I'll send cards occasionally um, so yeah all the things that I'm trained to do as a consultant but all the things I would do even if I wasn't trained to um, because I'm naturally passionate I want every single member to succeed and I want them to feel how I felt when I got to Target. So that's all the questions that I got based around Slim and Well. I hope you enjoyed that video. I talk so fast. <laughs> But it meant that the video is, what, 20 odd minutes? So hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you do want to carry on seeing my videos and you do enjoy them, then please make sure you subscribe because when you subscribe to somebody's channel, you'll get a notification with the little bells turned on every single time they post a video so you don't miss anything. And I absolutely love having all these really lovely people following me as subscribers. It really does mean a lot. So 
when I get lovely comments and things like that, it, it does make my day. I just think, that's why I do this, is to help people. So if you want to be part of my channel, then please do subscribe and give this video a like. And if you want to leave a nice comment underneath, then that would be fabulous. So which question did you like the best? What answer did you like the best? Have you learned anything? Has this video helped you at all? And then if you want to follow me on Instagram, then my handle is at Foppaholic. And it's the same on Facebook as well. So I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. Happy fopping!